Hey, Patty, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm not very well because I am. I have the flu. Oh no! I just have some medicine and water. But I always uh, drink a lot of water. And I have I I have have sore throat. Uh, a light fever, uh, muscular pain, mm -hmm. and uh, cold, <laughs> but that is a uh, virus. Okay. And when did it start? Today. Okay. Today it starts. So my, then... my, my sons and my husband, uh, uh, have been uh, the flu the last week um maybe they they uh were the the origin <laughs> uh -huh. it's probably it's probably <laughs> so maybe tomorrow you're going to be worse uh I hope that the medicine make me make me feel better. Okay. <laughs> it's usually that when you have the symptoms, usually the second day is the worst day, right? Because the first day you begin, you you feel sick, and the next day ah, is when you feel all of the attacks. <laughs> yes, yes. That is uh, very frequently. Mm -hmm. And what about the weekend, Patti? What did you do over the weekend? Did you stay home? Did you go out? Ah, in in the weekend, well, yesterday, my husband and I were to the restaurant um, Pollo Real. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, we have some pupusas and a cup of coffee. <laughs> I told to Rafael mm -hmm. because he he works in in that restaurant, and I told him eh, I'm going to to have some pupusas in the Pollo Real. <laughs> And he, and he said, uh, that's great. I am I am arriving from Honduras, maybe. And ah, it was very, very delicious, the food. You In know, the... I have never, never gone to Pollo Real. I've never tried their food. Um, the chicken is delicious. The pupusas are very, <clears throat> very good. Okay. Hey, Dennis, Javier, Nicole, have you ever gone to Pollo Real? Hello, good evening. Good evening. I have never, I have never go. Me too. But my sister says Pollo Real is good. It's great. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, but many people that I know they say, "Hey, Pollo Real is uh, has good chicken or good food," but I have never tried it. But that restaurant is is Salvadorian, right? I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it's Salvadorian think, or not. I think they are Salvadorian, but but yeah, I have listened many many opinions about the food in that place, and yeah. Oh, I think that all all of them, uh, all the opinions about that place uh, are good are good opinions. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, yeah. Patricia. Yeah, yeah. I I have to say I have never heard a bad comment. Never. Oh, <laughs> it's terrible. boys. don't eat there. I have a bad experience. No, no, no. The most the most comment the worst comment that I heard was eh, it's okay. That was the worst. But imagine. The worst is, ah, it's okay. But, you know, everybody else says it's good. 
I think that the chicken is better than the pollo campero. I've heard this. I've heard many people say that it's, it tastes better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe one day we have to try. I, I am so happy to see many of you here. We are ready to continue our class. We only have two, two classes today and tomorrow. Really one class left, only tomorrow and that's it. And then we finish. So today we're gonna finish up unit four and try to get ready for our exam. If we have enough time, we will start. If not, tomorrow we have the opportunity to do the exam, okay? All right, so let's start by looking at 4.6 in the platform, clauses stating reason and conditions. We just wanna review a little bit about the different clauses to help us remember in case we forgot over the weekend. Hello, even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reasons and condition, stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight as long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself, then share them in class. Okay, so we're going to have several questions and statements that we want to answer. We want to talk about those different ideas and complete it with your own information. So the idea is you just complete it. As an example, what happens? If you don't sleep enough, well, unless I have enough sleep at night, um, I can't wake up in the morning, for example. Okay, so we're gonna take these. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put them into the group to make sure that we have all of the statements. And right now it's just a matter of answering them with our partners. So we just complete it, whatever your opinion is, you put down whatever your statement. First, before we make our groups, it's okay, all of the meanings, usually, um, unless, always, considering that. Okay, since everybody is quiet, I assume the answer is yes, right? Okay, good. Let's go for it then. Just a few moments with our partners. We don't want to take too much time because this is just a quick speaking where you just complete the sentences with your partner. So we'll have five. 
Ya voy. Nelson, any problems? Hey, Marco, how are you? Can you hear me, Marco? Marco, you having some problems? Marco, you okay?
Marco, you having problems? Oh yeah, teacher. How you doing, teacher? I'm doing good. And you, Marco, everything okay? Oh yeah, man. I got a lot of visitors, visitors here in my house. <laughs> so there is a lot of noise. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now I understand. No problem. Yeah, okay. because it's my wife is the birthday of so my wife. Uh, so we are celebrating with a, a family group. Yeah. Hey, that's great. Yes. Okay. And your wife is not angry that you are not there. I'm sorry? Your wife is not angry that you are in your class. Uh, no, he's talking with uh, uh, the, her sisters and, and a friend she has from the, the, the when, when she was a child, there is a, she, she had a friend who, who lives in the United States, so she came to see her and they are talking to her in the, the rooms, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, well, that's good to hear. All right, guys, let's take a look and make sure that we are clear. Uh, Rafa, you are going to complete number one, Patricia number two, and we're going to have, hang on, let's see who's number three. Who could be number three? Let's have Selena number three, Anna number four, Javier number five, and Dennis number six. Okay, Rafa. Okay. Unless I have enough sleep at night, I can think very clearly in the morning. Okay, but your example, Rafa, give us your example. Let me see. Um... Um, the same when you practice with the partners, Rafa. Uh, yes, but we we have a dub. Okay. Uh, and we practice only number two. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough time to, to share another example. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? What happened? All right, think about it, Rafa. We come back. Think about it. Okay. All right, number two, number two. Number two. Teacher, if you want, I answer the number one and Rafael the number two. Okay, all right. Um, unless I have enough sleep at night, um, I have a headache all day. Ah, very good. Sometimes it's true. Yeah, good. Good. And I need uh, too much coffee. <laughs> uh, I need a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. Mm -hmm. okay. I need a lot of coffee. Good. Rafa, what's number two? I usually wake up on time as long as I sleep early. Good. Uh -huh. As long as I, I go to sleep early. I go to sleep early. Okay. Good. Good. Number three? sleep pretty quickly at night considering that that there are noise there are neighbor noise in front of my house okay there there are no there is because noise is not countable so there is there is for example a lot of noise in front of my house or there is my neighbor's noise in front of my house, but there is. Mm -hmm. is uh, okay. uh -huh, because remember, Selena, uh, R is for plural, but noise, yeah. no plural, no, no plural. It's non countable. There is a lot of noise. Noise, sir, uh, neighbor's noise, sir, is, is not. Uh, there, there are noisy, there are, then yes. You can say there are noisy neighbors. Okay. There you go. Good. Okay. Well, number four. 
Okay, that's me. Um, four. I always have a boring book on my night table just in case I have trouble falling asleep. Okay, good, good. Number five. Uh, number five, even if I'm extremely stressed out, I never fight with my girlfriend. Ah, uh -huh, that's great. How it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie, but it's nice. It's a lie, but it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, yeah. Uh, can I have use? I have never. You can, even if I'm extremely stressed out. Um, you can use I have never as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Number six, number six. Oh, that's me. Okay, I only leave a light on if I am not gonna sleep during all the night because oh. of homework or, or work. Okay, one more time, Dennis. Try it without any pauses, one more. Yeah, I only leave a light on if I am not gonna sleep during the night because of homework or work. Okay, yeah, exactly. That's it. Perfect. Any questions about any of those expressions? No, super easy, right? So now the same idea with our partners. We have several questions, several sentences to complete. It's only a matter of choosing the correct one, using the right expressions. So similar to the one that you just did, but now it's only complete with the most appropriate one. You have five minutes with your partners to make a decision, which is the best ones. And then we come and check.
Okay, Nicole, you ready? Number one. All right. Drivers can fall asleep on the highway unless they rest before long trips. Okay, good. Who's got number two? Who's number two? Me, teacher. Okay, Patty. Power naps at work are a good idea as long as you have the boss okay. Okay, good, good. Who's number three? Number three? Me, teacher. Okay. Some people can just get to sleep unless they take a bath before bed. Okay, good, good. Number four, who's number four? Number four is, I was surprisingly alert at work. Uh, considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. Okay, nice. Number five. My goals hate the, to wake up early. Uh, even if it is a beautiful morning. All right. And the last one, number six. I only drink hot milk before bed if I'm having trouble sleeping. Okay, great job. Hey, as you can see, we have all of our answers are correct, right? Very nice. I think we understand the expressions, how to use the just, the, um, the before, the after, as all of these ideas. It's okay? Yep. Okay, great. Now we're going to listen to Kate and Sergio, and they're going to talk about their dreams. Remember, we talked about our dreams last week. We already started a little bit about this. So in this moment, we just want to listen and then answer these different questions. Number one is whose dream is scarier? Is it Kate or Sergio? Okay. Number two, who feels in danger and can't move or do anything? Who's back in high school, has to take the test and is not prepared for it? And then number three and four, the last ones, whose dreams means they're feeling overwhelmed or worried about something? And whose are there is something in life that cannot be controlled, but uh, should be able to? First, before we do the listening, do you understand all of the questions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's listen and try to answer as many as possible. Listen to Kate and Sergio talk about their recurring dreams. Whose dream do you think is scarier? Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place, but still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well. I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over, so I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. 
I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So, what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick, and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, let's take a look and see if we can do it. Who feels in danger and can't move or do anything? Sergio. 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 Okay. Who is back in high school and has a test and is not prepared? Kate. Kate. Who feels overwhelmed or worried about something? Kate. 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 And there is something in life that cannot be controlled? Sergio. Sergio. And who has the scariest dream? Sergio. 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 Okay. Super easily listening about people's dreams. Yes? Right? All of those answers are correct. Sergio, Kate, Kate, and Sergio. Okay. And then we have, oh, here the correct answer is Sergio or Kate. Both is only your personal opinion. But I think it's definitely Sergio. Any questions before we continue on to our reading exercise? Not the chair. Not the chair. Okay. So today we're going to do a little reading. We have to sleep or not to sleep. Remember, you can make it larger with your partners. We're going to take a moment and you're going to read one paragraph, then my partner the other, then the, the other partner, then the other one, and this. So we're going to take turns reading. After we read, finish reading, we're going to make sure we understand the vocabulary, ask our partners if there are any new words, and then we have several questions to answer about the reading. We have five questions that we need to use the information from the reading to answer, okay? So three parts. Part one, read the article. Part two, discuss and make sure it's clear for vocabulary and comprehension. And part three, answer the questions with our partner. Okay. Nice. It's okay? Yep. All right. Yes. Great.
All right, number one. Marco, how much does the average American sleep? Oh, sorry, teacher. I was close. I have closed my. Um, I I think that that the American people, the average of sleep, of sleep in American people is six point nine six point nine hours a day. Okay. Six point nine. All right. Let's try. Nine. We're gonna see. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, Dennis. What about number two? Oh, wake up naturally. To know exactly how much hours of sleep we need, we need to wake up naturally. Okay, good, good. Number three, let's take a look. Number three, um, let's go with Patricia. Okay, teacher. What times we weigh, the way we sleep? Uh, the answer is electricity. Okay, electricity, good. Evelyn, number four. Animals are scientists experimenting on uh, monkeys. Monkeys. And the last one. George, what is number five? If we need to sleep, if we need less sleep, we will have more time to... Uh, it will be the... First one, teacher, travel, sleep, spend time with family. Okay, interesting, very nice. Let's take a look at all of those. As we can see, the last one is the one that no, we would have more time for traveling, reading. Travel, read, read, spend time with family. Exactly. No, if we don't need sleep, no, we use more time to sleep. That's the only one. Yeah, got it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Good. As you can see, the other ones are correct and you should have all of them right. Great. Well, let's take a look and make sure everything was clear. Were there any words or expressions you didn't know? Yeah, teacher. I have three words. Okay. Is, in, um, in which paragraph? Oh, it's in, in one, two, three. Okay, here. Let me see. Oh, I can see very well. <laughs> but this accurate, accurate tell me. I, here is for 36 hours. I'm going to try to make it bigger. That's as big. One, two, three, four. The fourth paragraph. The fourth paragraph, accurately. Yeah. Accurately, accurately. is similar to precisely. So accurately is without making mistakes. So the monkeys could work without making mistakes for 36 hours. The other word is huge, I think, huge. Huge. Huge, huge is very big. Huge, very big. Mm -hmm. Huge is very big. Where is huge? Yeah, very big. It's in the last paragraph. Research are huge, huge. The implication ah, yes. of this research are huge. Very, very big. Uh -huh. Okay. And the last one is average. Average, I think. The normal. So average, good average is the normal. So normal. If, like if you take an exam and you have um, a 10, a 5, and a 7.5, the average is 7.5 in the middle. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome, Selena. 
Anybody else or is everything else okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay. All right, excellent. Well, perfect. In that case, then we are ready to take a look at what we have in our exam. Our exam is consistent of five different sections. The first section is a listening section where we have um, actually four questions in the first listening and we have additional four questions in the second listening. So two listenings for a total of eight questions. That's a part one. Part two, part B, is combining the sentences. We have to join the two sentences using defining or non-defining clauses. Remember those, that, which, where, those are the idea for combining the two in part one. In part two is simply reading and choosing which is the correct order. These were the modifiers, what is correct. For example, soup chicken or chicken soup. But here we're gonna have at least three, two or three different words in order to use it correctly, in order to put in the correct order. Part C is we have the vocabulary that is given to us and we have to use the words and put it in there, okay? Not need for other words or other things. We just use the correct word, the vocabulary. The same for part two. Part two is different than the verbs. They are phrasal verbs and the same. You complete in the correct phrasal verb. Okay? Sure. This is part C, completing it with the correct word given. In part D is you read and which is the best word to make this sentence correct. Which expressions, like the ones that we learned from today, like before, while, after, um, all of those, which are the correct ones to complete. And then part two is like the exercise that we did. We read the sentence and exactly like today, come add the compliment. What is the best compliment for that sentence? And there, those are the two parts. You can see we have five questions in part two and only, and we have six questions in part one. And then our last part is like right now, you read and according to this information, what is true or false, you select if the sentence is true or false. Any questions about the exam or what is going to be in it? it uh, yes. Uh, in the the uh, the part C in the in the in the exam C mm -hmm. that the in the first part in the part one there are uh, some words we have to use for for each question that we have in the in the in the parts one, in the part ones. Yes. But the last one, the number six, has a problem because the question is, is that one, is easier to get around in a city that has an efficient, and the answer is transportation system. Mm -hmm. But I put it that and it and it it it, uh, it appears wrong, wrong. Really? And and I believe it's a problem with the with the platform, no? Okay. Like okay, Marco, it may, may be. What I like you to do is uh, you put in only the word system, not transportation. Try just the word system, an efficient okay. system. An efficient system. Okay. Okay. Let me try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's okay. right. It's okay, thank you, teacher. There you go. Great. So another, the other problem that I have is with the, I I have completed all one, but I got two mistakes. In, that in which I, part? I, I have tried to do in a different way, but it doesn't work. So there are, there is the in the in the section B, section the number. B. Three and number four. I have used all the words that I I I I can use for for combine those those sentences, but it, it it doesn't work. So I got a problem with the number three and number four. Okay, 
Tell me, Marco, what did you use for number three? For number three, uh, in my hometown, my hometown is a popular tourist destination that is about getting crowded in summer. Okay. I think not so bad. Not 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 bad is correct. Um, I want you to put my hometown, comma, and not use that, but use which. My okay, home time, comma, and I in use which, okay. Correct. And remember to use a- But without comma, no? No, two commas. You're going to have two commas. One two. at the beginning, and then yeah. one at the and end one, of that phrase. After, after destination. Correct. That is the correct location. Okay. With, okay. And for number four, what did you put? Istanbul which has great shopping, comma, is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Bazaar. Okay. Remember, Marco, you need two commas, always two commas, not just one. Uh -huh. So is, I listen that you put one comma, but it should be two. Uh, it I should put be... a, a point instead of a comma. Okay. So I go to... No problem. Sometimes it's little mistakes that you, ah, the period, the comma. So it should be Istanbul, comma. Okay? Yeah. Istanbul, comma. Oh, my home time. Okay. Anybody else? Any questions? Okay. Great. Now, like Marco, it's excellent. If you are already advanced with the platform and the test and you are ready or you are missing a little bit, no problem. If you have time, tonight is great. If not, don't worry. Tomorrow we will do this in the class and check it to make sure. But if you do not come to class, tomorrow is the last day. So yes or yes, tomorrow you have to have completed the four sections. One, two, three, four. And yes or yes, you have to have the final exam. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Great. So before we go, I just want to make sure, is there anybody that has already completed, uh, like Marco? I know Marco said that he advanced. Anybody else that completed the test? I have already completed. Hey, Carlos, great. And did you have any problems, Carlos? Are there any yes. questions that you'd like me yes. to check? The same problem that has is that have uh, uh, I don't I don't forget I forget the, the number Marco. the name Marco but mm -hmm. yes the Marco yes the same problem I have I I will uh, complete uh, right now ah excellent so for you no more problems anybody else I did it as well teacher I think I have issues with the period with the comma uh, that was very difficult okay okay. Okay, good. Like I said, don't worry. We're going to check tomorrow. If sometimes it's a little mistake that, oh, it has two commas or it has a space and you forgot the space, something small sometimes. So, or also teacher, I don't know how to say in English, but when, once you have the, the apostrophe, you know, the, the comma at the top before the S at the end of a word, I don't know how to say it in English. Yes. That okay. one, that was also an issue that I found. Ah, uh, yes. Because it depends on the computer, mm -hmm. there are two symbols, they look the same. But one is the symbol that is correct for the, the apostrophe, and the other one is like a, a little bit different, but it's not, it's not an actual apostrophe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, if there, well, before we go, just to make sure, any more questions? Oh. Okay, then. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much for check. connecting. If you have time, finish. If not, tomorrow we finish and we check. And that is our last class tomorrow, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Right. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.